guys welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new hi my name is Femke and in today's video I'm actually sharing a video that is long awaited and really requested the crap out because as you guys know I actually do YouTube my YouTube channel has been my own little small business for almost a year now even though I have started like three and a half years ago doing this for fun but I also also have a full-time job that I go to like five to six days a week and I have gotten so many questions on how to combine it on how to be on one hand the full-time job worker and on the other hand the youtuber and actually making it your own little business so i just wanted to give you some like personal tips and tricks that i've been doing for the last couple of years to actually make it work and especially to keep sane and not burn yourself out because i'm not going to like make it look any better than it is because it definitely is hard work to have like a tight upload schedule of like three videos a week next to working like 40 46 hours a week having a household having a husband a family social stuff you have to do it is a lot so with that out of the way and that being said let's get into the first point that i really want to talk about because this has helped me personally a lot so the first one is actually planning planning is key um, i still work with just a paper like notebook agenda planner however you want to call it and i just write down at least first of all the three videos that i want to do for every single week and i just write it down as i go you don't have to plan ahead like two weeks three weeks four weeks if you don't have any inspiration on what content you want to create and in my specific situation it is about nail polish nail art nail care stuff like that if you're not inspired don't pressure yourself into like creating new ideas and stuff like that i feel like if you don't feel like or don't want to record or create anything definitely don't do it Oh, and just a little extra information. If you hear any sounds whatsoever, I'm actually in the middle of my living room. My cats are going a little crazy and I do have one of my LED lights on the side where my filming setup is that has a little fan in it. So it kind of starts like cooling down the light every now and then if it is starting to heat up a bit just to prevent it from overheating so if you do hear any background noises sorry about that it's like my light or there are my cats or anything like that my crazy neighbors because for that reason i am moving out of here as well <laughs> but yeah back to the subject so planning ahead what i tend to do is i already have a solid like upload schedule that i do like 99 percent out of the time so it is um uploading videos on mondays wednesdays and fridays it is totally up to you what kind of days you want to pick if you even want to pick multiple days a week it is totally up to you and what is manageable for you because at the end of the day you are human and you don't want to pressure yourself with such a high workload and just burn out at the end of the day that is not what you want to do you want to start out by doing this for fun because it's your hobby because you get energy because of doing it because you want to engage with people you want to be creative stuff like that um so just make sure you're doing this for the right reasons i started doing this not even with like the idea of making it my business i didn't even start it to actually have a thought of like okay I can actually make a little bit of money from this because you know doing youtube videos um i get a lot of questions on this as well like when are you going to quit your regular daytime full-time job and do youtube to be honest it doesn't cut the costs that i have like my day-to-day -day living costs like um bills mortgage food stuff like that it doesn't cover it <laughs> it doesn't cover it enough for me to say okay i'm gonna quit my full-time job oh and that's my cat <laughs> 
so yeah i just started it because i love doing it and i just started recording with my phone which i'm actually using right now to record this video as well i do have a big ass camera set up right here for all of my swatches like in-depth tutorial stuff like that i just keep it on there because i am too scared that something is going to happen with that camera and especially with the lens because that one was hella expensive that I just am um, like start recording with what you have you don't have to like put in a bunch of money on forehand especially if you're just starting out maybe you're still in college university high school whatever you don't really have like the financial needs to start off with a very pro setup right away so just work with what you have, do it because you like to do it and not really from a business perspective right away because it's just not happening. Um, you have to build your community before you can actually do awesome stuff, you know? Next up, kind of like going on to the part of um, planning and stuff like that do make sure you have an upload schedule that works for you for me that is three videos a week like on a basis sometimes i upload more but now i'm actually going to move and stuff like that it will be a little less and just explain to your community your subscribers your friends family because you're all part of my little nail family what you're going to do and i am sure it will work out sometimes you know life just gets in the way and you have to skip doing stuff you love to do because other stuff is more important if you know what i mean so yeah just make sure you're really clear and honest and just be yourself when it comes to stuff like that and people will definitely understand another thing i want to get back into i've already like talked about it a little bit is just to work with what you have you don't have to spend a ton of money and just spend all of your money into something that you're not quite sure if you're ever going to see that money back um, of course if you're just going to do this as a hobby perspective that's totally fine but don't like use money you have to use for other stuff more important stuff than hobby so just start off using your phone maybe you have like a really old camera hanging around somewhere you don't really use anymore but still has decent quality you can definitely use that to make your first videos for like the first couple of years that is something that i did as well i just used my phone and some really standard like led light strips for my lighting to record and just my phone to even record the voiceovers while editing the videos like I have used the most basic stuff ever to record my videos and the quality didn't really like tell what I was using. Um, maybe that's just because I've always had the decent cameras in my phones that I use to record. Now I record with the, what's it called? The Sony AX uh, 64. I don't even know which one this is. I'm looking at it upside down and my brain is just like, what? <laughs> but if you feel like you're gaining a little money or maybe you have saved up money because that is something that I did as well while purchasing this setup, um, you can just invest in some really good equipment. Of course, if it is already your business, you can deduct taxes and stuff like that. But that's a whole other story. And also depending on where you live and what the like requirements and rules are like when it comes to stuff like that. But yeah, just invest in good stuff over time. It will definitely boost up your performance here on YouTube. And it's just fun to play around with new stuff as well. And then another thing I really want to mention is that sometimes you have like little growth spurts. Um, one thing that I really noticed is when you're on one of those highs, it it's just, it's awesome. You know, you get so much energy from that and just surfing on that high can be really cool but don't break your back when that high is going to end and you will go slowly back towards slower growth 
stuff like that happens and don't expect your channel to grow overnight not everyone goes viral with one specific video and just gains millions of subscribers it really doesn't work like that for the majority of youtubers it definitely doesn't work for me that way i wish it did but you know at the end of the day just make sure that you're having fun with what you're doing and just share your enthusiasm and your passion and your energy with other people always be kind and respectful towards people and don't be afraid to call someone out when they are being rude or disrespectful or just full on trolls you know I'm just really really down to earth and just very Dutch when it comes to stuff like that I can definitely really appreciate some good like feedback but make sure it is feedback because you know people can get really hurt by like meaningless comments and just hurtful comments and you know there are a lot of like negative bad people out there especially on the internet because it is so easy to hide behind a screen or a phone or something like that but don't let that get to you and if you feel like this is just a load of crap just call them out on it or maybe you're just like okay I really don't care block it's gone you know there are a lot of people out there that don't like others to succeed and that is mostly where stuff like that comes from um if you really can't deal with that i don't know if doing youtube or anything online for that matter is something for you because there will always be people who love to hate you <laughs> but you know stuff happens and that's life and just ignore it do your thing because you know what you're good at and if you love doing this just keep on doing it because no one can pretty much hold you back other than yourself and negative thoughts that you might get from comments like that so just try to let stuff like that go and just do what you love because at the end of the day it is your life it is your channel it is your personality your love your hobby your enthusiasm just go for it you know and I know it can be really uh, tough and scary to start because it has took me years before I was able to do this on camera and even do voiceovers. I was so scared to do voiceovers, mostly because I felt like, okay, I have to do this in English, you know. Um, I've actually had my blog for 11 years. I kid you not. I started out in Dutch. There are so many Dutch haters. That is insane. <laughs> um, and that is also the reason why I was quite hesitant to do YouTube in the first place. Because, you know, it's hard to be criticized on your appearance. On what you do. Um, for me, what my hands and my nails look like. Because I feel like there's nothing wrong with them. And to be honest, there is nothing wrong with them. But people just love to hate. And... It can be something that really holds you back into doing what you love, but just, nah, you know, F that. Just let it go. If you do whatever you want to do, it is good enough, you know? Don't feel like you have to be a certain way to be liked or to even make content on YouTube. Just be yourself. That's like, at the end of the day, that's the mo most important part in my opinion so yeah i really want to finish off this video i know it's quite rambly but that's just who i am and that's okay <laughs> um i just really want to finish off with the fact to just have fun um work at your own pace just try to combine everything because as i mentioned at the start of this video combining all of your like aspects in life together can be really difficult especially if you have a full-time job you have a husband or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife or anything like that partner in crime <laughs> it it really it, it really can be hard so just work and move at your own pace to the own beat of your drum you know um don't compare yourself to others because everyone is so different and definitely 
Don't compare your content to others and growth, especially. Don't compare your growth to someone that's had like a pew effect, you know, because you never know when it's going to happen for you. And you also don't know if you're ever going to get there. That sounds really negative, but it definitely isn't. Oh, my cat is going insane. <laughs> what is it? What up? Oh, man. <laughs> I can't even record a video in my own living room because that one is going crazy. And now I'm totally lost on where I was. But let's just recap all of the points that I was talking about. Kind of rambly, but you know, stuff happens. So make sure you do this because you love to do it. Make sure that you work with what you have. You don't have to invest in really high tech, expensive equipment right away. Just make sure you do it whenever you feel comfortable doing so financially, emotionally, and so on. Then another part is make sure you have a good upload schedule. Because for me, I never have any time off, to be honest. I work five, six days a week at my regular full-time job, and I have to do all of my YouTube work in the weekends and my evenings. So yeah, that does take a big toll on how much time I have left for myself, which is just a little bit. But you know, it is just make sure you spend time on it if you feel comfortable with it. For me, I know it's a lot of work, I feel like it is a lot of work how I do my things because I upload three videos a week. Could I do less? Possibly yes. Do I want to do less? No. So it's just like how many pressure do you want to put upon yourself? So make sure you have a healthy like leveling and you feel comfortable doing what you do because you don't want to get burned out or anything like that. So make sure your upload schedule not only works for your viewers, but especially works for you. One thing that I also really love to do, I don't really know if I mentioned this because I'm just really rambly today. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I work ahead a lot, especially now I'm going to move. I've been working since October for videos in December and January. I work ahead a lot, but that's just because I'm going to move. I won't be able to edit videos for a couple of weeks, so I need to get my stuff done in time, you know? But yeah, if you work ahead, maybe just a week, maybe just one video, that is good enough already. So you experience less pressure upon yourself to upload and keep doing your upload schedule. And finally, don't expect overnight growth because that just doesn't happen for everyone. <laughs> just do what you love to do and yeah, it will, it will happen. Just go with it. Do it because you love it and it gives you energy. Don't do it if it sucks up all of the energy from yourself and maybe gets in the way of other personal really important stuff too. But yeah, I really hope this is a little bit helpful, even though I'm really rambly and all over the place. But hey, that's just me today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in my next video as well.